What's going on guys, Cliffy here bringing you game <coughs> Sorry, game 7 of my qualifying campaign I'm starting to get a wee bit of the dreary cold again unfortunately um, But yeah, game 7 of my qualifying campaign Taking on obviously local rivals Austria And I'm just going to let you know what has been going on uh, lately So played a few games, obviously a few friendlies and stuff That's not a bad ball Not bad, oh I finished that Oh good save keep, good save So uh, we've played obviously a few games, this is my 7th game of the qualifying campaign and if we win this we are pretty much, it's not certain that we will get um, obviously top in the group and secure our qualification but it's very very close, I think we only need out of the last 3 games I think we only need about 1 point um, to go past Sweden, well for Sweden not to catch us as Ozil bangs in the volley after 9 minutes, don't see him scoring too many goals Please pick one up here. So yeah, pretty much all we need. We win this, um, and then we've got three games to go, obviously, and all we really need is a point in there, because I don't think Sweden will catch us. Because of our superior goal differential, which is 15 at the moment, we actually have not conceded yet in this qualifying campaign. Scored 15 goals, which isn't too bad, averaging just over two a game. Um, so pretty promising stuff, obviously, from the Germans. And <coughs> oh man, I, I hate it when I have to record when I'm sick. It just sucks. I don't know how I got sick as well. It's not as though I've been been around anyone who's sick or anything like that. It's just popped up. It's quite unfortunate. Oh, unlucky cruisy. Lay that through, boy. But anyway, today's results. Um, so obviously, three games again. Belgium taking on Russia in the first game, uh, which really, I guess, was going to decide the, the top place in the group because... Uh, Belgium and Russia should be the two teams to go through from that group. And Belgium did uh, get up 1-0. I'm not too sure who the goal scorer was. I will just check. I should probably check this on my phone. I probably should check this beforehand. Um, I have never heard of that guy. Origi. Oh, foul ref. That is a weak, weak cross. Um, but yeah, scored in the 88th minute, obviously, to uh, send that game. And send Belgium through, I guess you would say, to the uh, round of 16. Because I don't think they will be caught now. And obviously uh, South Korea, or the Korea Republic, and Algeria was a very high scoring game. Uh, Algeria winning that one 4-2. And I think the USA have just gone ahead of Portugal 2-1. Dempsey has just scored um, about a minute ago. So very exciting stuff. Um, obviously good for me, good for the Germans with them picking up that draw. Because this here, which you know is not good for the Germans. Because it means they have to beat the USA to finish top of the group. Not ideal. That bloody draw against Ghana. Not ideal at all. And this has been a pretty substandard game for me so far. I haven't really done too much. Yeah, Ozil. Oh, I'm just not getting involved more. I actually played uh, Cam in one of the games, uh, centre attacking midfield. And it was it was. Interesting, but obviously by by the time I did it, I was uh, it was when they made substitutes and stuff, and my player was quite tired. So still working on quite a few things, um, just to get my overall up and stuff. My overall has been stagnated um, at about seventy one for a long time. It went up to seventy two not so long ago after um, doing a training for something, but it just seems it just does not seem to be going up as cruise goes down. Oh. Oh, Royce, just play that all on the ground, mate. You know I can't hit volleys. I'm only 72 rated. Ugh, yes. Oh, damn it, David Alaba. It's weird how he plays like... Yeah, he can play almost anywhere. And I noticed that when I watched... I watched Germany play Austria in a um, in a qualifying game once. And he played just all round, eh? He started off... I think he started off in the centre of midfield. And then he dropped out to the wing. And, you know, when, when you associate him with club football, you associate him as a, uh, a left back. And a very good left back, obviously, for Bayern Munich. And, you know, he's in a, pe a lot of people's ultimate teams. Not that that means anything. But, you know, you associate him with that. You associate him as a very good left back. And then he goes, comes into this Austrian setup and um, plays in the centre of midfield and actually does a very good job. So, But <clears throat> when you think about the uh, midfielders that Bayern Munich have, uh, there's probably no chance that he's going to go and get in there, obviously, with the likes of Schweinsteiger. Um, they also have Goetzer. They also have... Someone else's name is right on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. Tony Cruz, that's the one. And obviously Thomas Muller playing out wide, but he can play in the middle as well as a centre attacking midfielder. So, plenty of options, you know, plenty of options. Um, as we head in 1-0 up 
at the break. And I can't believe, I can't believe that Portugal are down. Who thought that this would happen? Who thought that Portugal would be, especially with Ronaldo winning World Player of the Year, would struggle this much in a major tournament? Oh, he should have laid it back to me, boys. Oh, because I need to get a shot. I need to get something going. Because Muller is just having an outstanding game. He's Him and Ozil were 8.4, 8.3. And here I am sitting on my little 6.5. It's not as bad as one of my games. I came back uh, and played a game. Was it yes? I can't remember if it was yesterday. That's a poor pass. Yes, it might have been yesterday or it can't have been Saturday. Because I didn't, didn't get up to much Saturday because I was home very late. Um, yeah, it must have been Sunday. And I just came in and just had a shock of a game. Oh, go, son! Oh! Then I was playing a game. Who was it against? I can't remember. I think we were playing... It might have been Ecuador in a friendly. And it was just... It was one of those games where neither team just looked like scoring. Like, it was just bogged down in midfield. And then I thought I'd won it for us um, in the depths of stoppage time. Scored in the 90th minute. Um, and then they scored from the kickoff. And I was like, oh, man, that is real depressing. I thought I scored the winner. I was going to be a big hero and everything. But not the way. And obviously... Oh, that's a great ball. Finish that off. Kalosa. Oh. See, he's just not off space. I try to go and kill. I want to. I want to score a real cool finish shot, like obviously Messi did, but it's not going to happen. Oh, damn you! Oh, and then I trip over Marco Royce. I must say though, the Marco Royce twenty-one shirt was very lucky on Saturday. It brought me a lot of luck. It is, it is my new lucky shirt. Dempsey. Dempsey's just gone off. I think. He's just gone off. He's uh, got an apparent ankle injury. So that's not good. Not good for the USA. You couldn't think that they... But, I mean, then again, you know. Germany beating Portugal 4-0. You don't think the USA could beat Germany. But this tournament, you know, like so many tournaments before, throw up so many surprises. I mean, Spain, for God's sake. Who predicted that? But it's, it is always one of those things, you know. It's always one of those things where one of those, one of those apparent... Big t oh, finish that. Oh, damn you, David Alaba. One of those, you know, one of the big teams, one of the major teams will not make it past the group stages. You know, last, obviously, 2010, we had both Italy and France not make it through. Um, and then, obviously, this year, we're going to have Spain and possibly Portugal because it's going to be... Well, if Portugal do lose this, then they are gone, aren't they? Because they can't get back through um, because, obviously, the USA, if they hang on to win this, will move on to six points after they beat the Ghanaians, and the Germans will be on four points. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that works. That's not a foul, Ref! I didn't even touch him! <sighs> Damn it. Play me, as, play me as a cam. Play me as a centre-attacking midfielder. I need to get some points. Oh, here we go. Finish that, please, Cloffee. Oh, you're kidding! Damn it, Kalosa! I'm happy you scored, but I'm disappointed I didn't. What's my guy doing? The Mario Balotelli. I think we were doing that at work all Saturday. I don't know why. It's just weird. We are just talking about Balotelli for some reason. See, I don't even know if that... Oh, maybe it does count as assist. We've gone up to a huge 9.3, but we're still not man of the match. Oh, because Ozil. Bloody Ozil's up there. I can't believe I didn't finish that. I should have just gone for the finesse. The finesse shot. Finish it off. But that's alright. We go up 2-0. And we pretty much keep alive that record of scoring two goals in qualifying games. So we're keeping that average up. And obviously we haven't conceded yet, which is always a promising factor. Because it's one of those things, if you don't concede, you are likely going to win. Well, you're not going to lose, are you? Oh, Colosa, please. Should have been earlier, Colosa. Should have been earlier. That's alright. We won't blame you. You have you have tied the record for goals in a World Cup. Uh, well, sorry, World Cup goals, I should say. Not goals in a World Cup. I don't know who's got the most goals in a World Cup, in a single World Cup. It'd be interesting to know. Oh, you plonker. Can I skin him? Uh, win the throw, though. Win the throw. I'm not going to take the throw. We're going to do a sub. You can't bring him off, surely. Surely you can't bring him off. You don't need to bring him off when he requests a sub. Thomas Muller coming off for Patrick Herman. So he's actually playing in his correct position this time. He was playing He was playing as a CDM last time. <coughs> Some of the positioning in this game. 
Binda, I'm open! I'm so open! Oh! I thought that was in. I thought that was curling into the top corner. That is unlucky. But that is the game there, ladies and gentlemen. We win two goals to nil. As I said, we keep up that string of results. And we have almost certainly qualified. I will be bringing you um, the final game of qualifying. I'm not sure who that's against. Uh, game 10, obviously. I'll bring that to you in two days' time. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. If you want to keep in touch with me, the best way to do that is Twitter. I will chuck my Twitter handle down below in the description. Make sure you check me out there. As, that, as I said, is the best way to get in touch with me and as I said catch you tomorrow uh, we will have some Don Bradman cricket back career mode make sure you don't miss that